A Prayer for a Lost Loved One by Emily Rose Massey, read by Leah Martin. But God demonstrates his own love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 8, 5. My convictions were just too strong to stay silent on that Facebook post. I knew it was a controversial topic, but I didn't think my own family would turn on me and lash out at me for my beliefs. As a Christian, there are times when I need to stand up for what is right, and just like countless times before, I was left to stand alone to be ridiculed for my faith in God and His Holy Word. I just didn't think my own brother would be the one to hurt me the most with his callous words. Often, the wounds cut deeper when it's those closest to us that wield the sword. In that moment, instead of finding the comfort and understanding of my family, the harsh reality that my brother was a lost soul began to set in. When we meet opposition regarding sharing our faith, It's very easy to become offended at those who mock or push back. Perhaps our first instinct is to turn our backs on them or set it in our heart to never discuss the Lord around them ever again. Instead of bitterness or offense towards those who might not agree with our beliefs, we should have compassion on them. Because at one time, before Christ saved us, we too were enemies of God and lost. Even if our unsaved friends and family hurt us, these situations should truly drive us to our knees to pray for our lost loved ones. Romans 8 is a powerful chapter in the book of Romans, and in verse 5 we're reminded of God's great love for us. But God demonstrates His own love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 8, 5. God loved us so much that he gave his only son to die for sinners. Not only should this truth cause us to rejoice in the gift of our own salvation, but it should fill our heart with so much hope that God's mercy is available to those we love. If we can't reach them with our words of the truth, we can pray that the Lord may bring someone else who could share the gospel with them. Let us have hope that those who seem unreachable can be reached by God Almighty. No one is too far gone from his arm to rescue. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for loving me so much that you sent your Son to die for my sins so that I can be in fellowship with you forever. You know how badly I want my friends and family to know you like I do. In fact, you love them more than I do because you created them. I ask that you would begin to prepare their heart to receive your grace, to believe that Jesus is the only way to true forgiveness an eternal life. Draw them to you, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen.